Have you been wanting to create drop down menu items on your website, but you have no idea how to do it? Well, be sure to smash that like button because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that extremely quickly. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Ecom Tom and you're on my quick tip playlist where I drop one quick tip for Shopify every single week. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for more quick Shopify tips. And before we get into it, if you're interested in how I also make money with Shopify, then be sure to check out my free mini course that's down below in the description. And with that being said, let's go into my computer and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So here we are. And as you can tell, this is a main menu, but there's no drop downs on the main menu and we want to create a drop down. So what we're going to do is go into Shopify. We're going to go to navigations. And this is already assuming that you have some products in collections or possibly pages that you want to actually link to. I don't personally have that, but I'll show you it anyways. So this is going to be the main menu. Everyone has one when they start a Shopify store and you're gonna click right here. So let's say that we're selling chairs and we have a catalog and we have different chairs that we wanna show. As you can tell, there's the home and the catalog, which is already being displayed right here, but we wanna put something below the catalog. So what we wanna do here is click add menu item and what we want to do is add in, just say recliner chair, say we're selling that. And if we had a collection or a product to link to, we would do that right here. But if you don't have anything to link to, like I don't for this video, you can just add in a hashtag and that'll just pretty much make it so that it's good to go. So at this point in time, if we were to click save, which I'll do just for the purpose of this video, and I refreshed my website. And when I refresh my website, you'll see that I now have recliner chair. But recliner chair is not under the catalog and it's not a drop down. it's just adding it out this way. So in order to do that, what we need to do is hold on to this thing right here and drag it under catalog and make sure that it indents in like this. And then you just let go. You can do this up to two times. So we can add another one here. Let's just say it's leather chair then we need to add in a hashtag or or your actual collection and once we do that we click add and we can have leather chair which would drop down below recliner chair so let me click save menu and i'm going to click on our online store again and you'll see that now there is a drop down recliner chair and leather chair and like i said you can do this up to two times so if we add leather chair under recliner chair there we go now, if I click save menu and I open up our store, you're going to be able to see that there is now a double drop down happening where leather chair is going below recliner chair. And let's say we were getting overzealous and we wanted to add another one under leather chair and then it has a triple menu. I'm going to show you that that is not, it's not allowed. It's not possible. So let's just say it's lawn chair and we add the hashtag in just for ease. Now, if we want to bring this, we can bring it under leather chair. So it's just a double, but we cannot make it a triple. See how it, it grays out and doesn't allow you to do it. It's not possible. So that's pretty much how you create drop downs inside of your Shopify. Again, you just go to navigation and you start nesting things under the main menu or whatever menu you want to create a drop down on. Just click add menu item, and then you can even add them under each specific one once you create it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, ask them down below. If you haven't already, please be sure to smash the like button, help out other beginners that need to learn easy, quick Shopify tips. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And if you would like to check out my free Shopify mini course, it's linked down below in the description. Thank you very much.